this lady, you're almost in the very back. Uh, you have your hand over your face like this. Could you stand for a moment? What's your name? Kathy. All right. Would you mind putting your hands out, Kathy? I actually, during worship, I looked back there, and I actually saw the Lord move towards you. And I felt like he wanted me to share this with you. So, Holy Spirit, bring your power over your daughter. Yeah, isn't that great? That's just the Lord loving on you. He wanted me to tell you that not only are you faithful in his house as a person who prays, he not only hears your prayers, he's moving on behalf of your prayers, and he's going to use you very specifically as a daughter that loves people well. There, there, this whole thing about nurturing is very important to you because God has called you to be that way. You're going to be used very specifically in your family as a person that releases that over people as you pray for them. God is going to cause that to come forth over your life. And there's just a cleansing that's coming over your heart and your mind right now from the Father specifically. You're going to enter into another dimension of your destiny that the Lord wants you to, and it's called the fullness of his voice in your life. You're going to hear from him while you're awake. You're going to hear from him while you're asleep. Things that you've been longing for, he's been longing to give you, and he's going to release it over your life. So, Father, I thank you for your daughter. I ask that you would bless her right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Okay, so this one, I was trying to figure out how to do this. Is there a Daniel here or someone who has a son named Daniel? Daniel. Or a son. Do you have a son named Daniel? Yes? I'm sorry? Oh, you're Daniel. Would you stand, please? Okay, here we go. Um, the Lord told me to tell you that you're coming into what's called the fullness of life. Jesus is actually ordained for that to actually take place in your life. You're already exhibiting that in your life. But he actually wanted me to tell you that the strength of the Lord is actually going to overshadow you. And a new season is actually going to be coming in your life. And it has to do with how you, you uh, I guess it has to deal with the theme tonight. It has to do with how you nurture people. And there's going to be this thing that's going to be happening in your life that people are going to come to you that are broken, and you're going to begin to work in words of wisdom to give them words in due season to actually set them free. In fact, this is even going to happen to you at work, and it's going to actually surprise you and catch you off guard all the good things that the Lord has intended for you. But he wanted me to tell you specifically, you are not in a season of weakness. You're in a season of the strength of the Lord being upon you. So could you extend your hand? And let's ask the Lord to bless you. Come and bless Daniel right now. Release your power over him. This thing about him being a student, a person that thinks deeply about things, and this release of just growing in that depth, I just command that to come forth right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Daniel. All right, if you're dealing with uh, lung problems, breathing problems, uh, so he was showing me two issues. One is a breathing problem like asthma, or you have actually some weakness in your lungs. Would you stand? The Lord wants to minister to you. Breathing problems or weakness in your lungs. Now, please remember, we just talked about this as God is willing to do this. Just extend your hands and relax. We're going to pray that the Lord will do this for you, okay? So Holy Spirit, bring your power over your children. Release your healing virtue over their lungs right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, remove this weakness. I break the power of this infirmity. I command it to lift off right now in the name of the Lord. Breathe life into him. Now let's just wait a moment. Breathe life. Any barrier that's keeping this from coming forth, we, as the body, come together and say, I command that to stop in the name of Jesus. Refresh them. Breathe into them again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Uh, a couple more. Is someone here dealing with, okay, so here is your glands, and under that you have a thyroid issue. So is someone dealing with thyroid problems or swollen glands? It could be two of them be a thyroid problem or swollen glands. If you have swollen glands or a thyroid issue, would you stand? The Lord wants to minister to you. I'm sorry you guys are having to deal with that. Please put your hands up. Holy Spirit, bring your power. 
Let's bring your presents. You're the restorer. Come and bring your hands over their, their glands right now. Command the pain to stop and ask that you'd restore their thyroid glands right now. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. I bless your name, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Okay, let's do this one. I thought this was kind of funny. Is there a woman here that was... <laughs> A woman here that was born in Houston, Texas, and has moved up here. Is there a woman that was born in, that's you? What's your name? Shelly, would you stand, please? But you're wondering, what is he going to say? Um, have you had a sense like you are kind of just been wandering around for a while and just what Jesus said? Well, he told me that uh, you've had a sense of your destiny not just being sharp and crisp. Does that make sense to you? Okay, would you extend your hand? Because the Lord actually wants to come and, and refresh that. So Holy Spirit, release your power over your daughter right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you're actually in a, uh, a retooling season by the Lord specifically. The things that you have been facing is not the Lord abandoning you. He's teaching you a new level of authority that you have. And so he wants you to realize that financially, you're not being stripped of something. God is going to add to you, but as, as your authority grows, the Lord is going to release that to you. And so, Lord, I, I ask that favor would come to your daughter right now, that you would bless her and strengthen her, that you'd cause her destiny to awaken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And statements that people have said, communities that she's been in that have shut this down, I break the power of that, and I command it to come forth right now in the name of Jesus. And we just bless your name, Lord. Amen. Thank you. All right, um, is there a woman here named Sheila, and you actually have hand problems, issues with your hand specifically. Is there a woman here named Sheila, and you're dealing with hand problems? Am I missing anybody, or is no one standing? No one's standing. All right, so I'm going to pray for this, because what ends up happening, sometimes I miss it. I'm fine with that. Actually, I should say I usually miss it. But I'm going to assume someone's listening to this. I'm going to pray for it. This arthritic condition, I break the power of it right now. And I ask, Lord, you'd restore Sheila's hands to wholeness in the name of Jesus. And I bless what you're doing in her life, Lord. Now, cause healing to happen right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, especially when it comes to writing. Set her free from this. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. One last one. You ready? One last one. Okay, so, I'm in worship, just waiting on the Lord, sensing His love and His embrace, and I actually see, it's kind of funny, uh, I get this symbolic picture of the front of the sanctuary with water up to this level, and when people come to the church, that's what they're stepping in. And then I saw the, the Lord open the doors back there, and, a, and water just started coming down the middle of the aisle, and all of a sudden, you went from the water being this deep to where it was this deep. And what the Lord told me about that, wow, you guys are excited. I haven't even told you. You're pretty excited about that. All right. What the Lord actually showed me was there's an increase of grace in your midst that Jesus is wanting you to be aware of. So this is for you guys. Okay. Pray about this. Think about it. Jesus is wanting you to create a culture of hope and expectation in this next season. A culture of hope. That means for you specifically, and if you test and weigh that and you feel it's the Lord, that means that Jesus is saying the, the level of grace that's now being released to you, you can't function in what you're doing before. He's wanting you to function up at another level. And this level, for it to be at that level, it's about cultivating hope and cultivating expectation. Okay? So would you guys just join me and let's just put, present our hearts before the Lord. Let's see if he engages us with this. Okay? Well, first, Lord... If you want to increase the river of grace, let it come. Just let it come. Let it go from being literally at our, our knees all the way up to our waist. Just bring it forth in the name of Jesus. And Lord, break us free from the culture of Colorado, which constantly swims in hopelessness. Break us free from that right now. And release 
hope and expectation back to us. Create a culture of this in the midst of us. And for people here that just kind of assume it's okay to be hopeless, I break the power of that over your life right now in the name of Jesus. And I ask that they would begin to look forward to their life and forward to tomorrow in the name of the Lord. And we bless what you're doing. Lord. Now, Father, thank you for your graciousness. Thank you for your presence. Thank you. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Merry Christmas, guys. I'm not following the